Wow. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. We are currently experiencing a flash flood. Thunderstorms a lot. I've just come down Egbert Road and I'll just show you the force of nature. Now I'm going to show you this drain cover here, which is obviously jam packed with water. And wow, look at it. It is literally going to burst. Let's get around here. Look at that. Look at that. I tell you what, you take that cover off, that is going to blow everywhere. You can smell it as well, smell the sewage. I've just come past a few drain covers. And they're all the same as well, so... Right, next stop, Allerton Road. And this one's a... Uh, wow. Can't even cross to there. Uh, see what it's like on the other side. I'll get splashed if I cross over there. Let's have a quick nip over there. I'm gonna get soaked. I'm gonna get soaked. I'm gonna get soaked. Yeah, look at that. Look at it, lad. It's like it's like the thick ocean. Wow. Am I going to get splashed up under? I continue to walk along here. That side's not too bad. It's this side. Never seen it like that before. That's the edge of the pavement there. Never seen Allerton Road like this before. Right, so following on, we're in the same night. Now, I've just gone past Queen's Drive. So Queen's Drive, I've done a video on it quite a while ago about two people who died in flash floods last year and they installed some flood defence barriers which are supposed to come down automatically when it rains. Now I've just gone past and I've been past a few times while it's been raining. I've never seen them down and I've just seen them down now. So I thought, you know what, let's get these things in action and see, see how bad the flooding is. So I'm just walking along North Mossley Hill Road is it, I think. Just past Derby Halls. So I'm just gonna swing a left now. I'm gonna see how far I can get actually and just see how bad the flooding really is. Right, so where's one of the barriers down? Now this matrix sign is not working, but the one up there is. So I've just spoke to the guy and I'm just gonna walk in a little bit. I'm not gonna go down. But he said it's around about 11 foot. So, I'm just going to see if I can get... Wow. Wow, that is a lot of water. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but... You can just see the water there. Wow. I mean, I did say to him, like, I'm not going to jump in it. But... There is people up the top. Wow. I honestly didn't think it'd be that bad. So the guys just told me that the barriers do come down automatically. 
Um, obviously there's one person blocking the road. I just said to him, can I just go and film that? I'm not going to jump in the water, so he was sound. There's quite a lot of people up the top here as well. But I don't know when that's going to show up on camera, but... So this is the road here. And he said, it's submerged, wow! In 11 foot of water. Let's just see if I can get closer without anyone see me Wowza I'll just get here now so there's the bridge there there's the road here and look at that I mean, Ian's just said it'll submerge your car. Jesus. So that is what killed that couple. Wow. Wow. Apologies for the quality of the uh, visuals. Camera isn't very good in pitch black and I don't really want to shine a torch or whatever down there. So, yep, yeah, I might go round to the other side and just have a quick look but as you can see there it's blocked off, coned off and although they've got barriers there I think they've got people to stop people going down as well so I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera but you could literally I'm not messing, you could swim in it you could drown in it and like the fella said to me just then when I went in um, it will submerge a car quite easily but when he said 11 foot when I got close, I didn't realise how bloody deep that was. So yeah, cheers to that guy. Very nice guy there. Just let me walk down a little bit and uh, film. So I'm going to probably go up now and um, have a little look at the top of Queen's Drive as well. See if I can get the barrier there. The Matrix sign all lit up saying uh, road closed. Right, so next stop is the other end of the bridge, sort of near the end of Dovedale Road. And I just thought... I'll try and get this uh, matrix sign lit up. Although, there was quite a few uh, people around here before on the van, and there's no one here now. So I wonder if I can just walk down the other side. There's a big puddle there, as you can see. And let's have a look. Oh, no, I can't. Unless I ask nicely. the matrix sign there, flood, road closed. Right, there's three people there I just asked and uh, they said no I wouldn't advise it so what I'm going to do I'm going to walk up to this bridge there's like a bridge that goes over the road and you can see it a little bit better hopefully a little bit more clearer as well. Right so I'm just on this bridge now you can just see the water there so they've opened up a drain there's all the people there walking up you can just see there they've opened a the drain cover and it is literally just draining all the water away. The guy I did speak to up there just said that it was well worse before. So let's go across this bridge and see if it's just as bad on this side. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. So this was the spot uh, last summer where the couple died. They literally just drove up here in an electric car, I do believe, and the car just locked up and they died. So you can just sort of see how dangerous that is. And you know what? I didn't think it was that bad. But, like, you can't even see the pavement there. So there's like the lamppost there. And so if you drove through that now, your car would start floating and be submerged. So, 
pretty dangerous. So the flood defences have worked, which is good. Oh, this car is here, slowing down, looking. So that side's not as bad. See there the water draining down. Yeah, so pretty, pretty dangerous and pretty scary. I didn't honestly think it'd be that bad after all the work they've done to it, but the guy just said we've had to open the drain cover, let all the water flow through, and it, it was well worse apparently about two hours ago. Apparently it was at like 20 foot nearly. So yeah, the flood defences, the flood barriers have worked. All good in the hood there. So yeah, I'm gonna head back now because I am slightly wet. So thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one.